Okay, so we are the homeschool team for experimental design. And I know it seems pretty weird that we're homeschooled, but we're not much different. And so we wanted to, we were looking around for information about experimental design, but we didn't really find that many videos, right? Right? Okay. So we're basically going to show you two sites. One is the Siley page and show you how to do it because I don't have one that shows our faces and I don't want to show my face yet. So let's start. Here are the key points to include in the lab write-up. The statement of the problem. It says like what happened like a question like what's the problem? Or just like this example how does the height of the ball is dropped how does the height of the ball, a ball is dropped from 1 or 2 or 3 meters affect its rebound height in centimeters? Then you have your hypothesis, which, like, is your prediction. Um, so you figure out your hypothesis, and then after that, you go on to variables. In variables, you have three types. The independent variable the de dependent variable, and the controlled variables. So the con my friend here is going to tell you about the, two, the three different variables. So the controlled variables are the variables that you're going to need to keep the same during your experiment. So if you were doing the ball experiment, like up here, then controlled variables would be like the kind of ball you use, you would keep that the same. Or the thing you bounced it off of, like the floor or the table or whatever. And then the independent variable is what you change about the experiment to see what happens. Like, the that would be the height the ball was dropped from. And lastly, the dependent variable is what you measure at the end of your experiment to see what happens, so that would be the rebound height of the ball. Okay, so she explained control, which is basically control variables. Then, and again, if you don't really get some of this, you can just go to the Siley.org. Then you have your materials. We used a ping pong ball, a meter stick, we brought in two calculators, Pencils and is that it? Um, paper. Paper. And so basically, you're just given a few things, maybe rocks or liquids. Like we just went outside and did a practice experiment for our invitational. So then you have your procedure. You have to list your experiment clearly. Include label diagrams of how your experiment was performed, three diagrams are typically sufficient, but may, more may be needed for it. Then you can finish reading this, because I don't have, ugh, what happened? I don't have that much time to do this. So then we have qualitative observations. The three observations are observations about the procedure, Results and anything not related to oh results and anything not related to DV dependent variables. Um, so observations must be made over the course of the experiment about the three. And okay, so my partner has had to leave. So, it's just me. Not that great. That's just me, but hey. It's better than nothing. Um, okay, so you'll have to write a graph. And so what you'll have to do is label your axis, x and y. Title the graph. Use the dependent variable as the y value. And the independent variable as the x value. Title the individual axis, for example, 
Left of the y-axis, he would write time taken for parachute to fall in these many seconds. Connect the data points to draw or draw a line. Uh, or draw a line of best fit. Only inc only include averages of the data for each independent variable. Then you have your statistics. Take the common statistics, mean, mode, range, median, and also include any other relevant statistics. Uh, statistics uh, something's wrong with my mouth. Statistics. I'm gonna leave that and follow, and show work. The best idea is to put all the statistics. Uh, I'm not gonna say that word anymore. <laughs> In a neat table. Your table should be neat. A ruler helps a lot. Um, you can read through that because I don't have that much time, like I said. Uh, I think it's in there. Eh, who cares. Uh, do not change it to seconds or any other units. I'm in division B, so I don't really get this. Okay. Um, analytics. This section should be one extended paragraph, which at least touches on all other points. In other words, let me show you something. Look at the data and draw some reasonable conclusions about the experiment. There should be trends. Point them out and explain them. Discuss your statistics again. Oh, that is hard. Explain them. Guesses are okay, even if they're wrong. They show your thought process. If you have any other outliers or random bad data points, don't ignore them. Again, write about them. Was there anything you did wrong that time? Or was it just a fluke? Um, okay. Then you have possible sources of experimental error. Look for all the things wrong with your experimental set. And things like how might, have, how might they have caused inaccuracies in your data. This is really useful because it can redeem mistakes made earlier in the event by showing that you are aware of them. <clears throat> Sometimes points can even be regained. Try to stay away from human errors and stay focused on experimental sources of errors. Like, you can say things like that have to do with temperature. The container of your object may have, be, may have insulated it. Say any possible thing that could change the outcome of the experiment and explain how the errors are believed to affect the data. Increase, increase from normal, decrease from normal, or either. This section can be written before any data is usually collected. Do not ever say that your hypothesis was right or wrong. After one experiment, a hypothesis can either be supported or not supported by the data. So, we, my team, had done this. And it cost us a lot of points. So basically we got 57 out of 120. It didn't cost us as much points as you think, oh that's not so bad. But our team didn't really do that well. And we don't have a JV, so that didn't really work. Um, there's. Oh, wait, let's get this. Applications and recommendations for further experimentation. Let's see. Applications and recommendations. I think I said that. Sorry, I just want to eat. Um, when writing this, like, part, you have to consider variations of your experiment um, that will produce more accurate results. 
there probably should be three variations listed. Um, one, to approve a certain aspect of your experiment. One, to approach the hypothesis in a different way. And one, for the future experiment related to the dependent variable. Um, finally, consider a practical application for the experiment. This selection can also be written without any knowledge of how the experiment will turn out. And so it can be also written before data has been collected. I know what you're thinking. You could just read all this off. But I just want to help out. But, I also have a few other websites for you to test out. Now, Dictionary.com isn't that great, but you can use it to search up any things like hypothesis. What's the meaning? Like that. There is Science Olympiad. Let me see. What is the web address? One sec. Um, it's I. Uh, Sewing.org. It has things like deep CDs, the store, scoring, scoring, event, wiki, and basics of experimental design. Um, you can, if you want, you can, if you have the time, you can read through all of this, or just part of it, but what you need. Um, and like I said, I ha I looked through here to find videos about it, Science Olympiad, um, experimental design, but I didn't really find much about it. Um, yeah, as you see, it's a bridge experiment, bridge building. This, this isn't even, like, experimental design. This is... Group one, but... That's in the group but, one. oh, what am I doing? Uh, sorry, I have my little baby sibling in the background. But, this is the only one really like science, the Science Olympiad. This, no. Here are no. I know you might not want to see my video, but yeah, I was just hoping to help out. You can things find things like sample. Yeah, go here. Um. Oh man, I only have two minutes left. Ugh. Why am I clicking? One sec. Well, I'm not getting that much luck trying to find much experimental design. That is more like what I did. Ugh, what's... Uh. Basically, it's like this. So, it might be easier for you to find this kind of stuff, but for me, it hasn't been that easy. So, if you just go to this... Sci-Link, sci or... Um... sci -Li. You can find a lot of stuff about the oh, events. So it's just something to help you out, and I only have a few seconds left, so one sec. You can find information about all this kind of stuff. The only thing my, my group isn't doing is, I think that's World Scholar. I don't think anyone's usually using it. Um, so, yeah. I was hoping to help out, so I also searched here, and there aren't that many things, except this is pretty good. Um, and I'm hoping you will see this and like my video. Goodbye! This is a vlog saying, well, I'm signing off.